Okay, another video of Norwich 93 CMP continuing with the M1A M14 series. So what we're going to demonstrate in here is this is a stripped barreled receiver. Let's talk about throat erosion, um, the tool that I use, muzzle erosion, and the general markings that are uh, on the barrel. So in front of us we have a, a commercial receiver, obviously semi-automatic receiver, um, but a GI barrel. And one of the first things I want to tell you about is the GI barrels, um, unlike the um, M1 Garand, there are no markings on, up top underneath the handguard. Um, you know, you don't need to remove the handguard. Actually, great, this one doesn't have it. No, this is a post-war, that's why. World War II ones have markings up in this area here. Um, you don't need to go look for them. That's the first thing. Second thing is this piece... I never screw with it. It's it, it's machined on. There's a um, looks like a roll pin, some kind of press fitting in there. Um, I never touch it. I leave it alone. That just keeps the um, the operating rod in place. Doesn't do anything else. It's not mechanical. There's no uh, no gas flowing through it at all. Um, our gas port is a little different than the M1 Grand, where we have some stoppers and the splines are a lot farther down on the um the barrel itself and we have an extra set actually over here for the device so one of the first things you can look at if you have a commercial receiver let's see if i can get i'm gonna put on i think i got a headlamp over here someplace that'll help you guys out a little bit so with my headlamp on i want to show you how right here the receiver ring and the barrel where the top of the hood for the barrel goes. Uh, it's gonna focus for me or not? Here we go. There we go. Right here needs to be flush with the barrel together to get an accurate reading. So just the way the camera angle I'm, I'm showing you right there it looks nice and square. The tool I'm going to use, and I don't know the name, I'm sorry, but it's got a spacer for uh, 308, and it says M1 on it, but it's actually wrong. It says M1 slash M14 308, which is correct. There's another spacer that I use with all the 30 odd six, and it's marked 30 odd six. So that's the one you want to use for that. So I take it. Obviously, the chamber is nice and clean. I go in through it, and I'm going to read. The first set of numbers right here. Nicey nice, right? So that's see you my well that's too bright, huh? It's a one. It's a little less than a one. So that's a really tight, tight chamber. On the muzzle end, I'm using the CMP gauge. I don't have one for the for the uh, 308 size, but it was really interesting to see with the, the throat being a one, which I've never measured before. Um, I'm using the CMP 30 out six gauge, which is basically for 30 caliber, and it it's just slightly over a zero. It's like a 0.5 to be fair. Again, the reading's basically the same way. Hold it this way. And then read it that way okay so those are there that's how i take my readings uh obviously it's all apart and um just look at those other videos about how we did that and um just look for some more videos i think we're gonna do uh maybe a couple more on the m14 maybe the stock and um i think that'll be it thanks watch again take care bye